Uh, yeah, obviously because of mud, uh, which everybody does, is like foam under the skid plate. Uh, we also have foam under the fenders. Uh, I think technology really hooks us up with that. Um, the Yamaha is actually a great design for the mud because normal air boxes are more towards the back, which puddles come up and they can get into the air box. But with the Yamaha, the air box is up top, so normally if you can like wheelie, we tell the guys to like kind of wheelie if they can over puddles and stuff like that. Water won't get into our air box as easy. So, uh, but with the mud prep in our air box, we do foam inside and also a back plate, which is just like stock back plate that goes over the filter. So that helps too. So essentially our bike is made for the mud. If a privateer and they don't have foam, they don't have anything, just buy them some WD-40, PAM, whatever they got, spray it all over it, hand guards, you know, whatever. Uh, Jeremy really doesn't like to run hand guards unless he has to, so uh, it's, it's right of preference, I guess, with, with, with that part, but I would say just spray it with WD-40 so that mud comes off as easy as it is. We pretty much throw everything away because mud race ruins everything. So uh, for those guys, I would just say like wiring harness for sure. Make sure that thing's blown out big time. You know, clean the main parts like your air box and your air boot, all that. So that's about it. Uh, solid rotors you put on for mud uh, because mud will pack in the like. So this is like the other rotor. Mud will pack inside here, and which will get in your pads, which will make the brake fade or feel faded. So you do a solid motor or solid rotor, so no mud can get stuck in here, and it's just. It's a uh, more consistent feel to the rider and no mug gets stuck in there. Uh, pretty much in this case, it's rider preference, but uh, knowing from Indiana last year, we ran the mud tire, which is the MX-11, which Dunlop came up with that. Uh, it's a great tire for the mud, so we're just gonna start off that. And if those guys get down to like the, there's like, it could get down to like a hard base, we might go back to this tire just, just for traction. A uh, couple, few things that we uh, we did for this mud race. You know, it's um, it's been chasing us all year, so uh, we kind of were prepped for it. Uh, we went ahead and put the Sykra hand guards on, and um, you know we want to eliminate any mud or water to get on the gloves and uh, try to keep them as fresh as possible, as long as possible. So that's one one of the little things we do. Uh, we also, if you come up here, we run the Twin Air louver cover and what we do is we take that and we, we wrap it around so that the mud actually will hit and deflect it won't stick to your fins creating an overheating issue i'll actually run the dunlop mx11 rear tire which has got the scoop here and it's great for any mud or you know thick sand like southwick as well uh, on top of that we come over here we have a solid solid rotor so basically It'll keep our brake pads as fresh as possible, as long as possible, and it also won't allow any mud to pack in here. If you come to our air box, we run the original OEM plastic, and we go in here with duct tape, and uh, we also have a twin air, air filter cover, and we, we block it off as much as possible so no water gets in and gets, uh, gets the engine wet. And we also run a little bit of foam on the rear brake so that it doesn't get pushed up or get locked down at any point. So here we have the uh, decor seat cover and it's a, our mud seat. We use it on really extreme conditions. Basically it gives you as much grip as possible uh, down the side and we still have it on the top and it's all grip everywhere else. Well, some mechanics, they run a dialect grease in the connectors to keep water away or um, like a, a penetrating oil. It basically deflects the water if it gets splashed up there, but uh, that's that's what I do, and you hope for the best. Between moto prep, uh, get a good wash. Uh, we'll definitely change out brake pads. Uh, we'll assess the tire to make sure it's good. Um, we have ribs on our seats. We may add ribs on our seats to, you know, depending on if it does get slick. Um, we basically just feel out the first practice, and then we'll go and we'll assess it. It's very costly, <laughs> uh, you know, brake pads and clutches and any of the odds and ends. But um, yeah, it does. It adds up. So I don't can't say no, but um, just use your best judgment.